Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your fast math freebie of the week. Now I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's fast math assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. In these videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point focusing on test taking skills. If you know that you need some more help breaking down the math skills, I encourage you to check out the link below, which I'll point out again at the end of this video that will point you in the right direction for some more in-depth videos to help make math your jam too. Now the question type that we are going to be focusing on this week is drum roll. Matching item response. Oh yes. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, fifth grade, here is your fast math freebie for the week. Go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this one on your own. And then when you're ready, Come on back and let's check your work, okay? I'll see you in a second or a minute. Welcome back. So this one says to match the expression, which is down here, and then we have three expressions there with its correct product. The product is the total when we multiply and those products can be found right over here okay, so we're going to go through this problem i'm assuming that you have some knowledge and understanding with multiplication when it involves decimals um, if after watching this video you know that you need more help i will point you in the right direction okay my focus here is just to make sure that you're getting practice with test taking style problems all right so this is a matching item response. I actually love these types of problems. Um, we're going to go ahead and work on this first one right here. We have four times eight tenths, four times eight tenths. So here I, I know that I'm multiplying by something that is less than one because I'm multiplying by something that's less than one four times a, a number, a decimal number that's less than one. I know that my product is going to be less than four. Um, I can think about this like this. I know that four times eight equals 32. And here we have the eight being with one decimal, one decimal behind. So because of that, we can also go right here. So it would actually be three and two tenths. If I wasn't sure how to do that, I could say adding those together to get three and two tenths. Let's take a look at the next one. So here we have four tenths times eight hundredths. Now I know this is going to be even smaller of a number and I see that we have one, two, three digits behind the decimal. So that is what's going to happen in our product. That's important. So I know that four times eight is 32. And because I need three digits behind the decimal, I'm gonna go ahead and go one, two, three. There's my new decimal, a zero here to hold the place. And that leaves me with 32 thousandths, which is this one right here. Okay, and finally we have four tenths times eight tenths. These are just patterns with decimals going on here. We have one, two digits that are behind the decimal. So my product is also going to have two digits behind the decimal. We know that four times eight is 32. Here's where my decimal is until I need to put it one, two places behind right there. So out with the old, in with our new, and that leaves us with 32 hundredths, which is right here. Now in the program that I've created, Taking on the Best, I do take these problems and we make visuals and we take more time to, to understand that we're shifting decimal places. Here I'm just applying that understanding, assuming that you have two. So this is how you would solve this kind of matching item. So go ahead and pause the video if you have any notes that you need to record and then let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So definitely make sure that you check out the links somewhere 
around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to practice. You've got to be intentional about the effort that you are putting into whatever it is that you're trying to get better at. I believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye!